Hello everyone, I'm Vikramaditya here. Welcome to JH Soft Tech. And in this session, I'm going to discuss uh, regarding the latest updates on SAP jobs. Uh, would your job get affected or not? So I've done a research for a couple of days, uh, in-depth research across the globe uh, and um, uh, what exactly would be the future of uh, the information technology uh, in general and SAP in specific and uh, in SAP again SAP jobs and what are the jobs that get affected and who would be affected the most and who would be uh, not affected and where would be the growth and all these things. I've, I'm, I've done some uh, research and analysis and then I'm presenting that uh, paper to you and now after this I'll be again coming up with more uh, research uh, results in the in the coming future but as of now I have some very interesting uh, things to share it with you all and I hope uh, this would be very useful for your future so let's look at the game changers there are a uh, major players I'm, I'm focusing more on those major game changers so at this end of the session I'm going to take a, a one uh, big game changer in the world which influences the entire world uh, information technology market I have taken one one of the uh, major IT industry chain and uh, how they are going ahead with the jobs and what would be their future strategies what I have analyzed and uh, I'm going to present it at the end of this session and uh, do watch the session till the end so that you can get that exact uh, information now the effect on SAP jobs for jobs in small organizations will get affected for example uh, I can't say startup companies of course startup companies will get affected but uh, if we see in general uh, very less number of uh, you know startup companies have SAP uh, SAP projects so SAP projects are all held by uh, you know managed by major companies so even in that if you if you talk about less margin companies and small organizations compared to the CMM level 5 company, major uh, topmost companies in the world. So keeping the, keeping the topmost companies in the world aside, if you are looking out for uh, some local companies might get affected because the projects will be immediately held off. So there are some companies wherein like they will have a very less number of projects like say uh, some 10 less than 10 projects then you know definitely that the, the entire organization will be affected and the employees will be immediately affected because if all the 10 projects are on hold immediately the only way the organizations can come out of it is like you know firing the employees so definitely your job is going to be affected if you're in a small organization contract staffing employees if at all if your project is on hold then the first people that get affected in major companies will be the contract staffing for example if you have a uh, hundred people working on this on, on this project and uh, 50 of them are contract staffing and 50 of them are you know permanent positions then and the contract staff would be affected now i also explain you in the same session how to come out of it let's say you have lost the job what the next step that you have to do also i'm going to explain you in this session so do watch that so in major companies the top positions with high packages will get affected immediately anyone who is in management field and anyone who is actually facing the clients and you know they are, they are being paid for the business development and all those people are going to get affected immediately in almost all top organizations because uh, they they very clearly know that you know getting a client right now immediately might not be possible at this uh, at this juncture of time and um, so those people who bring the business those people who manage the uh, manage the relations with the clients might get affected immediately so I'm not saying that everyone will have, will be affected, but the first people who are going to be affected are the people who are managing the teams, ma managing the business and all. So if at all, if you are having some um, three years to say eight years or 10 years of experience and you're a technical person, then relatively, I'm not saying that you, you are safe, relatively you are safe in major companies. So top companies might hire with less packages. For example, a person who is working in say TCS, uh, Tata Consultancy Services, and he is moving to Infosys, uh, maybe TCS might fire them because their, uh, their package is high. But that does not mean that they don't have the demand. They might have demand. The only thing is TCS is trying to 
cut short their expenses so they will definitely get it but we have to we might have to compromise on the packages so if you if you if you feel that you know your your job is insecure it does not mean that that's the end of your career you can get it but you have to compromise on the packages and you, comp you have to compromise on the locations so these are the challenges that we have to be prepared to uh, face but that does not mean that you, you, this is the end of the career no so they might insist on more number of working hours. For example, if we take the example of Infosys, Infosys is a major software company in India and it has uh, branches across the world and it's doing the business in, in a very good way throughout the information technology industry uh, from more than two decades. So here they might insist on more number of uh, working hours is what uh, uh, Naran Murthy, the Ex CEO of the company and founder has uh, revealed in his uh, statement that you know people have to people might have to uh, the employees might have to work for around sixty hours to overcome this uh, you know uh, this kind of uh, maybe the uh, the future recession that might come after this uh, uh, present scenario. So it and they might insist on more number of working hours and uh, according to Naren Murthy, every employee would be told to work for sixty hours instead of forty hours. And major companies will keep hiring and would have to work from home. So this is a major paradigm shift that will happen. Uh, most of the companies uh, are uh, planning for uh, you know hiring the people and uh, you know making them work from home. And there are some criteria, some parameters to measure their performance when they are working from home. So you know you might you might have a question like you know if they are working from home, how do the company make sure that they are they are working well or are they up to the mark? So how do they measure? They have some parameters. I'll explain you what are the parameters so that you can make sure that you whenever you are working from home, you follow all the parameters and good uh, get a good uh, feedback from the company and the client as well. And freelancing jobs will be on rise. So they are already on rise and in the future you might see more number of freelancing jobs. Even in the freelancing jobs also your ratings in the past with the past clients in the past projects all these are very important in the freelancing jobs. So we'll come to that one as well. Now the clients rise and fall. So if in the long run if you see all the major IT companies uh, would be affected according to the clients. So after every marriage major paradigm shift, like for example, like you, you, you know, people were using all the, you know, uh, uh, Microsoft based uh, mobile phones, uh, Microsoft operating, uh, Microsoft Windows based operating system mobile phones, and they suddenly changed to Android based mobile phones across the world. And uh, that paradigm shift uh, brought like a very big change in the technologies, the applications that people develop and the supporting industries and all. So people who catch that uh, the change in the world have like extremely grown well like you know people who started uh, developing their applications based on android from the beginning of uh, android introduction they have excelled very well and people who are still sticking to the old uh, microsoft uh, windows operating system based uh, smartphones they are they are in the they are in the back end and uh, the forefront people are the ones who have started working on android from the beginning so so after every paradigm shift in the world, there would be certain business that would lower its demand or something sometimes completely perish and certain businesses will be on the rise. So the IT firm in which you are working right now, the, that IT firm's success lies in catching rising clients. So if a IT industry IT company is capable of catching a rising client, for example, a pharmaceutical company who have who have invented the uh, invented the medicine or uh, vaccine for the latest uh, uh, latest uh, virus uh, you know uh, for covid-19 or it might be so those people those companies will be on rise they have huge profits and uh, if if an, if our it firm you know has a pharmaceutical company of that sort as a client you know definitely our it company will be growing very fast so though in this way and and at the same time even if they if we have a luxury uh, company like gassi which is a italy italian based uh, you know luxury brand if let's say they are on they are on verge of you know completely closing down the industry and if our IT firm is supporting them. They definitely, you know, our, our IT company also will be will be will be hit very badly. So I uh, hope you understand. Like you know, there there are there are uh, there are uh, ripple effects of all the you know the business chain that we have. So how our IT company smartly moves through this trans transaction 
transition you will all be dependent on uh, how uh, how they carry forward the business okay so who are the safe clients if at all if you if you are in a sap project in which our client is a pharmaceutical based company food processing based company or a healthcare based company anything which is related to uh, something which is very important uh, uh, very important kind of uh, you know firms which are uh, in, which are doing its operations throughout this uh, lockdown period then you know uh, there will be a very good growth in our in our uh, in our uh, career as well and we will not have a major risk of our job but when it comes to and uh, you know not so safe clients for example if you are in a project in which you are supporting a company which is an automobile company or aeronautical based company or luxury luxury brand based brands or entertainment based companies or organizations or enterprises then your your firm might get affected and your project might get affected and if the project gets affected you know uh, many employees will be on bench they'll be moved to the bench because the project uh, there is no project and there the risk of your you know uh, job starts so until you, are, you until you are in the in the in the project until you are you are getting built you, know, you will not you will be on a safer side only when you move to the bench and you you are you are you are on the bench so that there is a risk of your job now i take the case study of the case, case study of tcs which is a very interesting case study which uh, i have gone through hundreds of case studies and i have gone through how the companies are uh, are planning to do their business in the future and i felt that you know this this particular uh, uh, case study is very very interesting because uh, you know it's it's a very big company and everything that they do is like uh, you know uh, is something which is extremely it will affect the entire industry so you know tcs has more than 4 lakh company 4 lakh employees across the globe um, so so when when the, when we when we say when we see the in depth analysis of uh, the tcs i can take other case studies also in the future but uh, this post covid 75% of the 4.5 lakhs and 4, 4 lakhs plus uh, tcs employees to permanently work from home they'll be uh, they'll be uh, you know, uh, directed to work from home and by 2025 they're planning to completely move 75% of the employees to work from home and um, and you know, th this new model called the 2525 will require far less office space decisions came after the firm briskly moved 90% of its uh, workforce to an operating model called a secured borderless workspaces secured borderless workspaces so not all is negative about the lockdown aimed aimed at the curbing of uh, curbing the spread of coronavirus certainly not for india's largest it service firm the uh, tcs tata consultancy services the crisis has proved an opportunity to india india's largest it firm to discard its 20 year old operating model and uh, leapfrog into a, a new mode of work running up to 2025 tcs will ask a vast majority of 75% of its uh, 4.48 lakh employees globally including the 3.5 lakhs in india to work from home up from the industry average of 20% today the new model called at 2525 will require far less office space than occupied today and um, the organization will not uh, uh, i mean like uh, will not need more than 25% of uh, of the workforce to facilitate in order to be 100% productive and the decision came after the tcs briskly moved this uh, 90% of its uh, 4 lakh 48 employees uh, post lockdown to the operating model and it's called secured uh, borderless works workspaces anyways this this uh, you know analysis this research research uh, this case study you know gives us a very clear picture of where the it industry is going it industry will definitely go strong but there might be definitely instances where few of us might be losing jobs and few of us may be gaining jobs some of us might lose the packages or the perks that we are expecting but in this tough situation the most the most important priority is to retain a job not for not not to focus on the 
high incentives or you know hikes or appraisals that we have that we are expecting because this is a global uh, global issue and um, so we we all have to cooperate with the companies and uh, work the best what we can do uh, that's how we can come out of uh, this uh, and and i'll come up with uh, more uh, more details about anything that will have on the sap jobs and it it jobs in general and there are a lot of openings coming up very soon and i'm planning to even share all the requirements that we are getting in our uh, youtube channel every every uh, once in a while whenever we have huge number of requirements i just like would like to make a video of all the uh, you know requirements that we have for that particular coming next month or something like that and then also share the links of that uh, jobs in the in the in the description that i think that would help else help us move quickly and get the job quickly so let me let me also get some suggestions i'm waiting for your suggestions valuable suggestions in which uh, in which you just let me know uh, your idea of how to help each other I, i just would like to help everyone to get the jobs so what is stopping us to get a job so if at all if something is stopping us to get a job uh, i'll make sure that that bridge is filled up and there's no uh, gaps in between uh, Uh, in the individuals and the job so that's what is my main intention to build a bridge uh, between the individuals and the job so whatever it it takes uh, me to do that i'll be more than happy to do that and do write in the comments and you can also uh, uh, you know mail me in the mail id that i'm going to give and uh, you can share your uh, views and ideas and suggestions and i'll definitely go through them and uh, make sure that uh, it will be useful more useful to more number of people Thank you have a great day